down to as many expense accounts as we have. We're going to go down to utilities. Now, I don't need I don't need these last two because these are going to go into another category of other income and expenses. So there we have it. I'm going to delete this last cell or this last row, putting my right click on it and delete that, moving it up, shifting up. Put the underline here, I'm going to say home tab underline and then make sure my total's picking up the right column. Looks good. So if I double check my numbers here, if I went from the income down to cost of goods sold. That should give me my gross profit. That adds up to the 23,257. There's the 23,257. I then have all my expenses, which are going to be from the 35 down to the utilities. That's the 21,514, 21,514. So then we've got our net operating income. I can double check by taking everything from the revenue down to those expenses. 1743. So that's the 1743 here, which was my gross profit minus these expenses. And then we've got our other income and expenses, these being income and expenses that aren't part of normal operations that I'm going to put down in this other category. We're combining both the income and expenses. So I would like the income to be going up, positive numbers, expenses to be going down. We're picking up then our gains, positive number. I had to flip the sign with a negative of that number to make it positive. And then the expenses, negative of that number to pick it up as a decrease, adding them up then 